Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Today in African History with Baba Shaka. I'm Baba Shaka and today is January 10th, 2021. A, couple, a few days ago, actually five days ago, on January 5th, 2021, we had a historic election, runoff election in the state of Georgia, which resulted in the election of Raphael Warnock, an African, to represent the state of Georgia in the U.S. Senate. Now, this has not happened for quite some time. Now, decided to go back and take a look at what has taken place in Georgia when it came to Africans holding um, elected offices. I came across something called the Original 33. Some of you may already know this. You know, others, this may be new to you. But the Original 33 were the first 33 African-American members of the Georgia General Assembly who were elected to office in 1868 during the Reconstruction era. They were among the first African state legislators in the United States. After most of the legislators voted for losing candidates in the legislators' election for the U.S. Senate, the white majority conspired to remove the black and mixed ethnicity members up from the assembly. Most of the black delegates to the state's post-war constitutional convention voted against this, voted against including into the constitution the right of black legislators to hold office. Can you imagine? Most of the black members voted against <laughs> including into the constitution the right of black legislators to hold office, a vote which Representative Henry McNeil Turner came to regret. The members were expelled by 1868, the ex-legislators petitioned the federal government and the state courts to intervene. In White v. Clements, a case that took place in June 1869, the Supreme Court of Georgia ruled two to one that black people did not have the right to hold office in Georgia. In January 1870, Commanding General of the District of Georgia, Alfred H. Terry, began what became known as the Terry Purge, where he removed all the ex-Confederates from the General Assembly and replaced them with Republican runner-up and reinstated the black legislatures, resulting in a Republican majority in both houses. Now, back then, the Republicans back then were like Democrats today, and the Democrats back then were like Republicans today. There was some flip that took place in the 60s and 70s, and in, in July, God willing, we'll get to that at a later date. But from that point, the General Assembly accomplished the ratification of the 15th Amendment, chose new senators to go to Washington, and adopted public education. Now, <laughs> the work of the Republican majority was short-lived. After the Redeemer Democrats won majorities in both houses in December 1870, the Republican Governor Rufus Bullock, after trying and failing, to reinstate federal military rule in Georgia, had to flee the state. He had to go. After the Democrats took office, they began to enact some very harsh recriminations against Republicans and Africans, using terror, intimidation, and of course, our old friends, the Ku Klux Klan, leading to the disenfranchisement by the 1890s. One quarter of the black legislators were killed threatened, beaten, or jailed. The last African legislator, W. H. Rogers, resigned in 1907. Afterwards, no African American held a seat in the Georgia legislature until civil rights um, attorney Leroy Johnson was elected a Democrat state senator in 1962. And of course, we've had other um, African members representing the state of Georgia, people like John Lewis and others. But in the Senate, we haven't had anyone until five days ago when Raphael Warnock was elected to represent the state of Georgia in the United States Senate. So that was today in African history, January 10th, 1870. The Georgia State Legislature reconvened to readmit the black or African members of the legislation. Okay? So please go ahead and hit that um, subscribe button, hit that little bell icon so that you can get notification whenever we upload one of these videos, which we hope to do 
of every day and make a comment. You know, like, share. Just yesterday, I got a comment from someone saying they would love to have some music kind of interwoven into the background, you know, of, of the video. So we're going to try to work on that. Um, I'm sort of new at, at this whole uh, YouTube thing. So we're going to try to work on, on su that suggestion. Um, there have been some uh, other suggestions to make this better. We're going to work on that. So please become an active member of Today in African History. So until tomorrow, uh, have a great day. This is Baba Shaka with Today in African History. Masalam.